So 343 is on a bit of a hot streak right now. They brought in Countdown from Reach, put down the matchmaking. They had a mid-season update, which brought the map and so many more improvements to the game. We're finally starting to see the game have a new higher level of population when it comes to people playing Halo Infinite. So with this recent update, how are they going to continue on that momentum to keep people playing? Well, this Tuesday update brought in a new playlist that I think is kind of interesting and might have maybe missed the mark a little bit. And that's Scar Heavies 24-7. And as the name implies, it's just a map scar with heavies but you also have the modes of total control slayer and ctf at first glance you go okay that sounds kind of boring but when you think about it scar doesn't really have vehicles on the map last time i played it it was just warthogs and rocket hogs nothing too crazy and it looks like a rocket hog this time which i'm like very questionable on the rocket hog so i'm really interested to see how a map like scar that has long hallways not really friendly for vehicle but in heavy weapon play play in with a lot of vehicles and heavy weapons but the only thing i know for sure is you gotta tap like and subscribe to the channel keep yourself up to date with everything going on with halo because nothing fills a youtuber's heart more than fake internet points and constant attention All right, first thing off we see a mongoose there is a wraith back here. Oh, you can't get away from the rocket hogs, though. I told you. Okay, let's plant these in the back of the razor back here. Let's see if we can get a little spicy with it. Oh, wraith's already dead, so that's great. Come on, blow up. No, I didn't get him. Oh, come on, man. I was really trying for something cool there. So I gotta keep it 100 with you guys. It took me a hot minute to find a match right here. Now, obviously it's larger player counts. And I think also just like the mode of Scar Heavies 24 seven. This really doesn't sound as exciting as you would hope for when it comes to a rotational playlist. Just because it's a map, some modes that we've already played a bunch of times already. So nothing too crazy there that really happened. More kind of a way to repackage what you already got kind of thing, which might be looked at as a way to be efficient when it comes to your content creation side of things, but also might be looked at a little bit as filler content. But anyways, we're playing it tonight. Look at that. See, you got a chance to use a brute chop. I don't get a chance to use these quite often, honestly. Oh, you're going to treat me like that, buddy? Wow. Here we go. We got a tank. This is why heavies is fun. You actually get to try some fun vehicles in the game and clip through bridges which is fantastic like a lie it does kind of feel a bit like filler content with this place because i think 343 is kind of holding into the next event coming around here which is going to be another hazmat event get some more content you can grind out for free for your hazmat core and stuff like that oh another one bites the dust oh no 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 get him off me get him off get him off i don't like it i don't like it i don't like it, I don't like it here get him off there we go windshield lever yeah oh, they're getting a little spicy with me now but I am spicier. Oh, there's an actual wraith. Oh, we got the triple. Where's the over? Which will be interesting to see what they do with the next hazmat seasonal event core a bonus goodness. I don't know what they're going to be calling it, really. Let's get this guy right here. This little double. There we go. Triple it. Oh, I couldn't get the over again. I'm cursed. Oh, but that's a double. <laughs> Oh no, error and error. Oh, we got the running riot. Oh my gosh, another triple kill. We're just absolutely slaying it here. And I'm assuming that the next hazmat event will probably be something that be tied to infection, which I mean, infection's all right. It can be fun, but for the most part for me, I don't really find infection mode too exciting to play. Dude, we are going off with this wraith and I am so happy with it right now. Oh my God, that was the quickest victory. Ooh. We got that Wraith, and when I decided just to, you know, we're gonna win this game for us. 24 and two, yeah, give me a Wraith, and uh, I'll do just fine. My biggest hope for this next event, oh, we're gonna grab this Wraith again, because, well, it worked out so well last time. But what I was trying to say, the one thing I really wanna hope I see for this next event happening when it comes to Hazmat, is that it's more than just like, go play Infection. Because Infection in this game, like, it's all right, it's fun. But you really do need like those custom forge maps to really make it something fun and interesting to play. Because the uh, vanilla maps, they work all right for infection, but there's, to me, they just don't really come off as that really interesting or fun or really give you a new experience to play, right? Like they, yeah, they have unlocked some new areas for you to jump around and play in, which is cool and stuff. But ultimately, I don't really care. 
But I do like getting kills like that. <laughs> yeah. That's because infection never really was like my jam. Oh my goodness. This guy coming at me with a hammer. I've always been more of a, like a 4v4 BTB fan. You know, I've never really been much for infection. I always found it kind of like a niche mode for a specific fan group and stuff like that. And we've seen that like when the season four launched that like infection didn't really bring a whole lot of people back in. What really brought people into playing Halo Infinite recently was one, squad battles popping off and being awesome, getting some really good feedback from news outlets, gaming community as a whole. Love that stuff. Play off of the nostalgia of Halo, which I think is like the biggest draw to Halo, is just the fact that it's Halo and people have such strong memories with this franchise. But I have a strong feeling it probably just could be go play infection at the event. Oh, nice little double. Get this rock hog out of here. Triple. Long shot for the over. Oh, we missed the overkill again. I'll check us out. We're getting recognized. Kevin from YouTube? No, couldn't be. Never heard of him. But the great thing about the vents that it gives you a reason to jump in and play, right? You get a chance to unlock some cool new free stuff you can put onto your Spartan or whatever kind of a thing they make you unlock at the time. But if you give people the reason why to play Halo, they'll go and play it. Yeah, see, I'm just a vehicle destroyer. But what? Do you want 343 to do to maintain this momentum? Because we're starting to get a little bit of forward momentum, right? People are starting to get excited about playing Halo again. So what does 343 need to do to keep these people playing the game? There have been a ton of leaks and rumors about Firefight coming in with Season 5. And if that's the case, that's going to be huge for a lot of classic Halo fans. Hold up. I just saw that kill feed. Is there a tank gun in this mode? Or is someone just getting spicy with a turret? I need to find out right now. Nevis Freak, I see you. Oh my gosh, no. I'm trying to do science here. Leave me alone. Oh my God, it is a tank gun. Oh, we gotta grab that right now. Give me, let me have it, let me have it, let me have it. No! I was so close to glory and then I failed. I let you all down. This guy hiding in the back with a turret. What do you think is gonna happen, buddy? Hey, <laughs> it's the guy here recognizes us from YouTube. Let's go. Oh, he loves the content. Well, lucky you, you're about to be in one of those content. A friendly viewer, Fuentes here, is trying to help me out figure out where those tank gun spawns because I would need this in my life right now. They get rockets at least, so let's see if we can make something happen with it. Oh, <gasps> there it is. The scorpion's tail. We found it. Let's go. Yes, it's <laughs> still just as beautiful as I remember. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh yeah, baby. Give me that. <laughs> oh yeah. A kill tack with it. Yeah, buddy. And Fuentes is cheering us on. He'd love to see it. That's some community positivity I like to see. Oh my god, you guys don't know how happy I am that I was able to find that. Triple it up. Can we get an over? Can we tie it up for an over? Because this guy got spicy with me. Oh, we're just shy of the over, buddy. Come on, give it to me. Okay, Fuentes is our friend here. We'll jump in the back of the hog. Let's like, make some magic happen. Oh, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it, buddy. I appreciate the effort. But um, it's uh, that was a little bit ballsy play for sure. But hey, we're down to the last seconds. You gotta touch that flag and couldn't make it happen, but all good. So that big question, if 343 can maintain this momentum they currently have right now with Halo, they can, they just need to make the right moves. And if they make the right moves or the wrong moves, I'll let you guys know here on the channel.